in November 1996 um, in, in response to the need to repatriate uh, and rebury Ivi Kupuna that were taken from the islands of Nihoa and Mokumanamana. We rented a, a, a sailboat uh, after we got the, the, the Kupuna released, the Ivi Kupuna released to us. And uh, I put together a, a crew and we sailed to, to the island of Nihoa first and then Mokumanamana second. But as we were approaching Nihoa, um, I don't know how far offshore we were, several miles, but it was in November, so the, it's not swell season. And the, uh, you could already hear the waves pounding the shoreline. Uh, I mean, it was very powerful, it was very spooky, because um, the US Fish and Wildlife Service um, sent a representative and we had to sign a contract that that person was authorized to, to decide whether or not to allow us access onto the island for purposes of reburial. And if it was too rough, it was too dangerous, um, he had the authority to say no. So as we got closer to the island, he was already saying no, uh, we couldn't. And tensions were running high. Everyone who was, you know, uptight because here we are. I mean, you can just see this huge white ring around the island. That's how rough the, the water was and how loud the pounding was. And as we got closer, as I was looking at the island, I kept noticing right above our mast, I mean, there, the island, I mean, the sky is just filled with Eva birds. You know, all kinds of birds, but majority of them are Eva birds. And one of the Eva birds drops down, and it was a real big one. It drops down and it's hovering right above our mast. And I don't know why, but I kept looking back at it, kept looking back at it. And one time I turned and looked at it, and it was just, you know, hovering. And the bird just turned and looked at me, and I instantly saw the face of Uncle Parley Kanakaoli, who had just passed away. And right then and there, I knew that we would just be fine, that we were safe, we were in good hands, and that we were welcomed to do what we had to do to Malama these Ivi Kupuna. And the rest of the day went like clockwork. Everything worked well. Uncle Les Kuloloyo, Lopakai Wohi got us into, in the ocean safely, got us on land. We did what we needed to do, what we were trained to do, and we put those kupuna down, and we left there safely. Um, and what that tells me, and, and the lesson from that is, you know, mana is about connections. And mana is old, as old as the you know, Hawaiian people are, and it's, it's that thing that connects all living things as well as all things that have already gone, and it's that connection of things through time. And so when I saw Uncle Parley's face and I knew that we would be safe, there was instant courage. There was instant clarity of thought. There was instant confidence in our skill set and that we would just be fine. Uh, so for me, out of the many mana moments, you know, I've had the, the privilege of experiencing, that was the one that came to mind. Tap into your mana by downloading a free copy of Mana Lahui Kanaka at oha.org slash mana.